we have a bit of an asbestos nightmare in our new property. This is not good for your health. It, we weren't expecting it. Wish me luck. The, the rent on our flat is over at the end of the month. We have to be in. So yes. it's probably going to be like one room ready, sleeping on the, on the floor. We might have to just do that and just sleep on the floor in the front room. What's up family? I'm Tommy and welcome back to the channel. Please just take a minute to like, comment and subscribe and follow us on this home renovation journey, guys. So this is our second renovation video and I'm filming this from my iPhone today, okay? So quality may not be as on point as usual, but you guys don't care about that, right? So first things first, guys, I know what you're thinking. What the heck happened to you, Tommy? Why do you look different? Guys, my little short stubble beard is gone. I'm clean shaven. And I look like a weirdo, I know. It just does not suit me at all. I'm not used to this look. There's a good reason for this. So, as mentioned in the last video, we have a bit of an asbestos nightmare in our new property. And you're probably thinking, what's that got to do with a beard? But it will make sense in a minute. So, I've made a plan that we are going to encapsulate the asbestos with uh, a liquid screed. But I've got to rip up carpets and take skirting off. And I'm obviously a little bit concerned about disturbing the asbestos tiles. So we have had them tested. They have got a little bit of asbestos in. Luckily, it's not the most dangerous type, but still asbestos is dangerous regardless. So I'm not taking any risks. So how does that relate to me not having a beard? Basically, I've had to get full PPE, the suit, the mask, the gloves, everything. And you have to be clean shaven for the seal of the mask to stop the dust from going in the sides, I guess. So basically, I'm not removing any of these tiles. Like I say, they're, they're gonna be well encapsulated, but I, as you can see, I've got bits of skirting that I need to rip off around the outside. And if there's any loose tiles, I don't wanna take any chances. So I'm gonna fully protect myself. I've got some basic asbestos training because I was saying my other, my other business is in construction. So um, I kind of, I'm not fully trained, but I know enough and know what to do and what not to do. So I'm gonna get fully suited up just in case. I'm gonna try not to disturb any of it. I'm gonna use plenty of water. So if anything does get disturbed, it doesn't go up into the air. So yeah, guys. It, we weren't expecting this. As I said in the last video, we thought we were just going to be ripping these carpets up and literally putting some new carpets on top. But we've just found this, basically this stuff, guys. This, this is not good for your health if, in dust form anyway, it's fine as it is. But if it, get, if it gets broken up into a fine dust and goes into the air, you breathe it in. It's not good, guys. So we're going to get rid of this, guys. We're going to get rid of this. Um, not completely, it's going to be, as I say, it's going to be screened over. I'm going to get suited up and I'm going to make a start on this. Wish me luck, guys. Please don't worry about me. I'm taking every precaution not to disturb it and I'm going to be fully protected just in case I do. I'll tap back in once I'm suited up. What's up, fam? I'm Sharon. As you now know, we have a new place. However... We are still not in the new place. Um, we are quickly learning that once you buy a property, it's never a quick uh, move in and, you know, we're already there. Um, especially if you're not buying a new build property. We have actually had to do a proper strip out of everything and do a proper renovation and just start from scratch because there was a few things that we didn't actually really look into, like in the boiler room, in the boiler bit. That boiler is super old. We might need to get the boiler changed. We might actually need to... So, actually, before I get ahead of myself, I actually haven't done any work in the property um, for a week because, like you saw in the last vlog, we found some asbestos tiles. Tommy is trained in asbestos and, you know, we just thought, let's be safe, let's get it tested. We've got it tested. It's come back. It's definitely asbestos. Um, so obviously I'm, this is new to me. I was panicking, freaking out like, oh my gosh, what's happening? Are we supposed to be here? Did we do the right thing? But then upon, upon doing research, upon research, upon research, 
to kind of give myself peace of mind. Um, I've realized that asbestos is, re is really common. It is obviously not the best thing to have, but it's very common. In the UK, they have about 14 million houses that have asbestos what? because that was what was used back in the day. Um, I think between the 19... I think any time before 1980, I might be wrong. So yes, a lot of properties have got that. So that put me at ease because, um, you know, I even spoke to my estate agents and she was like, you know, that shouldn't, that shouldn't affect the sale if you do decide to sell in the future. But obviously it's more just for us. We have to do what we have to do to just keep it safe. So we're toying with the idea for either getting it removed or um, kind of encapsulating it where you just um, put like a screed over it to, to obviously stop any of the particles being exposed and just it keeps the asbestos um, sealed. But the good news is the tiles that were on the floor, the, I'm not sure obviously what, what it is in them, but in the way they're made, they're very tight um they're not they're not like what's called a friable asbestos so it's not like the type that where you break it and it's like forms a lot of dust and fibers it's a very low percentage in them but still you should still take precaution regardless so talking about precaution my husband is in there um yes so we still witness we i think we've gone down the road of screeding it over and then putting something on top of it um because we are up against time we are still paying uh rent in our flat as well right now so he's done a lot of research he's gone to screw fix he's bought his gear on and he's in there we're not going in there i've just got the kids outside the car just had to bring in the keys um he's got his gear on um i'll show you guys what he what he looks like briefly there's the man in his lovely attire huh is it i want to have a look but oh oh you didn't do that that little bit babe you didn't take oh you haven't taken down any okay guys i'm good to go i'm good to go so once again just to reiterate if you can hear me this is just all precautionary i'm trying my best not to disturb these tiles okay so this is all just taking precaution all right guys so wish me luck so guys little update little update i've got all of the skirtings off. i hope you guys can hear me i don't want to take this mask off all the skirtings off didn't quite get all the carpets off because the tiles are coming up so i left them but the front room progress i should have updated you earlier but i'm in the process of latex in the floor i'll show you guys so in the middle of a liquid screen going over this horrible old crap this vlogging thing whilst trying to do this is actually quite a lot it's a different day like same jacket but I did have a wash, don't worry. We are just in B&Q right now. We're supposed to be looking at other things, but Aurora is getting distracted with Christmas stuff. Let's go, Aurora. That's cute. Me? Yes? What's Aurora? She's coming. <laughs> Look at that! It's a snowman! It is a snowman. <laughs> What's up, guys? My beard's still ain't growing back. Look, I'm still looking like a... Oh yeah, I don't think we had shown them on this one. No, I did on my other one. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I don't even want to be on camera. I feel, <laughs> I feel all right. Like, Bless him. Um, I, don't worry, by about Tuesday, Wednesday, I'll look the same as I did, but right now I'm just feeling like- He doesn't like it. I do not feel myself at all with this. I, I honestly, when I saw it, um, cause he had done the little tash, so he had the mustache at the top. I was like, okay, it's a bit weird, but it's not that bad. The mustache but then, actually looks the, better. Yes. It's, it's the must. It's not having a mustache. I think it looks. Mutant. But you know what it is? I think it's just because like the top bit is like seems tanned, and then the bottom is like is where it hasn't been exposed to any sun. And look how I look tired as well. You're I very, look, yeah, I look, but you are tired then. Yeah. He yeah. he has not been sleeping properly. Like to be honest, none of us have except for the kids. It's been a lot. 
and working flat out. Yeah, so just back and forth, back and forth, trying to like, we're up against the time, that's the thing. And we're just thinking of things to do, like what's the safest way to do these tiles business. But we are just going to focus on one room at a time and then just at least that way it kind of breaks things up and not, we're not overwhelmed. But we're in B&Q, we're trying to look at some lighting. So like something like um, that black ribbon, I, I feel like could be cool. And it's got quite a big like shroud, so it would cover up the, you know, that rough bit of plaster yeah. around the light. But that can you covered. can you put that in? Because obviously our walls are, um, the ceiling is Artex. Well, I'd have to, I'd have to give the, the electrician the heads up. What's that, Araya? Julux. Julux, good job. Look at the Julux. It so is we need Julux. A, a primer Look at as well. Julux, Daddy. The Dulux, yeah. Oh, it's a French one. What's the matter, Raya? Dulux. You want Dulux? <laughs> Honestly, Araya is so obsessed with Dulux. Um, she's like, once I don't know, she's obsessed with brands. So she, she, whenever she sees like a van or truck mm. or something like B and Q, she's like, "Mommy, it's B and Q. It's B and M. It's Dulux." Oh, she. Oh, she likes um, oh, and she loves IKEA. Oh yeah, and IKEA, by the way, yes. So yeah. Um, she's like, I like IKEA. <laughs> yeah, I like IKEA. Let's go IKEA. Yeah. Um. So yeah, she's just very getting to that stage where she's recognizing things. Um. So obviously we're not. She's like, what's this? What's that? So then I tell her, and then she remembers it. I don't know if you know if we told you why we're here. We're here to just get some paint because we're just going to start with the front room now, just filling in some holes, and then um, possibly start a bit of painting. Um, Aurora and Arise grandparents are coming. Uh, well, the granddad and um, uncle are coming today. So um, we'll see whether we can get a bit more work done, whether I can help Tommy a bit more, obviously, because it's harder with the kids. But um, we're just in this aisle. Come on then. There you go. We got distracted, didn't we? We're playing with some light fixtures. We don't know which ones are nice. I'll show you like what we this what there is. The there's one these I ones. Okay, wait a second. So there's this this kind of colour. I like that with the USB chargers. That'll be it quite handy because the amount of times we lose chargers, this will be handy. Um I like I quite like that colour. I think that's daddy now. Or grandy. Um, and yes, there's this one, this it's kind of like a matte like. black. Guys, it's nice, do but... You, do you think it's nice, guys? Come on, it's it nice. is nice, but that yeah, is so going to look... It's just plastic and it's not going to last, I don't think. It Even will, but, and then there's that silvery. Like some gun metal ones. I like the gunmetal, she doesn't, Aurora doesn't. Hello. <sighs> so Handyman. This, I couldn't really talk too much on the vlog yesterday because I made excuses already, but this is basically what I did. I've got all this floor covered up uh -huh. with a liquid screen. That's it doesn't look that pretty so much moment, better. But at least it gives us a safe and clean workspace to work on. Yeah. I think the rest of the old asbestos tiles we have professionally removed. I think that's what we decided. Yeah. So I haven't got a, one is time and two, you know, not take any more health risks. But at least we got this area, something we can progress with yes and this look at it's coming up actually it's, it's like yeah it's empty like once you've got a blank canvas you can see what you're you can, working yeah, with yeah you can envision yeah you can, you can envision what you can do with it there. so this is what the kitchen is looking like if you forgot what the asbestos tiles are like so this is what they look like but the kitchen, Tommy's ripped it all out now. Um, it's disgusting. It's, okay. it's horrible, absolutely horrible. This is years and years of not being done. You can tell it hasn't been done. That's moisture as well, that. Yeah, it's probably it been the tight taps. Yeah. But like when I put, pulled this MDF up, there was like it was crawling with bugs. Ooh. But I'm glad I wasn't there because that that gives me heebie-jeebies. I just, uh, but I don't want to go too far with this and disturb these tiles because, as I say, they're damaged. Those ones. Yeah, I'm not going to disturb anything. I'm gonna. We're just going to leave this alone and let the professionals deal with this.
we've just been like working like mad people. So what we've done at the moment, I've put some paint stripper. I don't know if you can see it, to just, so just to strip the gloss off there before we paint. So if you remember the plastered wall, I'm um, ceiling. We've just painted that, painted in the hallway. So you can see it looked like that. So that's what we took the skirt and boards off. So he's just kind of filling those bits in now. It's gonna have to be perfect. It's just so our skirt in. It's got something to yeah, exactly. stick to. But yeah, I'll be covered anyway. Oh, but look at the paint. Stripper is like, who's thing? Yeah, like I said, that wall is the one we're painting. Okay guys, so I finished this one uh, first coat of that side. That's the first coat. It's coming together, it's coming together. Um, still a bit wet, that's why it looks patchy. So we've just moved on to scraping the glossy bits now off. It's, cut it's actually looking, I think that's better though. That looks so satisfying. Look at that bit. Huh? The quicker you, sorry, the thicker, I mean, not quicker. The thicker you put it on, the more effective it is. We've had a long day. We've um, what have we done? So basically, we got we got primed the ceilings. Uh, we started made a start on painting the walls. I've got a coat on one wall, not not a lot. So it has been productive. Obviously, you know, not as much as we'd like to have got done, but it's all good. Like every little, we just got to chip away at it and do it bit by bit. Mm. But yeah, we're under pressure, so we need to get like at least a room good to live in. Yeah. And obviously, we need to have, make sure it's safe. Hi. If anyone in. wants to come and help do some painting, yeah, but let us know. We'll get there. We've got lots to do, and it's just like we're, we're, we're renovating. You can just keep, you just keep finding little things that need doing. You're like, ah, that's more time. That's more money. Yeah. And it's, yeah, it's a bit of a money pit, but we're hoping this will be a good investment, and it will, we'll gain equity from the property, and this all of this tough little uh, phase that we're going through now will pay off. Exactly, and we just had like um, Tommy's dad and um, brother over, and his brother um, is quite meticulous with things like home. So he was looking at electricals, yeah. which is something that we haven't even like thought we just of. Overlooked all we the, just all overlooked the that. We thought everything's all right, you know, it all works. But so that's know, yeah. another thing that we need to get looked at. But thankfully, we've got an electrician that lives across the road who I bumped into just uh, yesterday, actually. Um, so he said, just give me a text and I'll come and have a look at it. So there's a few tradesmen that live across, you know, around us. So I at least we've made, yeah, hopefully they can come help. We just pulled up, like we're not cooking because we've had a long day in the flat. So we've got a bag of KFC. We've done KFC today. So we're doing KFC guys. So yeah, hopefully you guys will be able to like be back on track with our regular programming i mean obviously we're gonna what, this is the regular programming this, this is, is yeah this is yes. life right now this is life right now so we're taking you guys along but Great yes araya is conked out and i'll sleep. tell you why i'm not happy about that because like we haven't me and sharon haven't had a date night a date night for ages no. so i was thinking the kids might be able to go to bed and we can actually have our date night mm -hmm. as a sunday no you but, had a date no, you had it like last week. No, yeah. we didn't. We didn't not, last not. Sunday. We didn't do a date night. We said we're going to be more intentional about our date did nights. Our date did. nights. Oh, we didn't. Oh, date we nights. Didn't. No, we did it before. And you it was, have to do it every week, or alright? Yeah, we're supposed to do it to, la, not last Sunday. The Sunday before, I think we did do another one in the week, though. Do you remember? Yeah. Who, yeah, but now Araya is going to be up late because she's sleeping now, so she's kind of. <laughs> she's kind of CB in me. She's C blocking me. I'm glad you censored yourself. Well she's done. She's C blocking me. We're guys. growing. We're growing. 
<laughs> but we could we might just have to do a little late night date night. Late night date like You tonight. need to go to bed early. You didn't go to bed like that. Pinky no. Promise. No, I'm not picking a promise nothing because let's let's see. But anyway guys, we're gonna go eat now. We will be taking you on this journey and if you see anything in there where you think, Oh, I think you should do this on that bit, put it in the comments. Like let's make this interactive. Um we want some ideas because obviously we've got some ideas that we want, but sometimes when someone else has a look and they they have a different eye, they have a different vision. Um, so yeah, get interactive in the comments. Um, yeah, then let's do this. Hopefully we'll be in before Christmas, guys. Let's we pray. have to be. We have to be in before if, Christmas. Because our the, the rent on our flat is over at the end of the month. We have to be in. So yes. it's probably gonna be like one room ready, sleeping on the, on the floor. We might have to just do that and just sleep on the floor in the front room. So but, um, I've got to say though, Excuse me, the bedrooms, it's less work, it's just decorating really. That's true. It's the kitchen and the front room that's got a lot, do a lot of work, do. but. What about the tiling? Yeah. But, but tiling is easy for daddy because he, he knows what he's doing with that. Like yeah. flooring is, is good with that. But anyway, guys, we will love you and leave you. I'm going to go eat as well. And hopefully, you guys are having a great day wherever you are. And we'll see you in another video very, very, very soon. soon. Cheers, Cheers, mate. mate. This KFC gravy's hitting. <laughs>